So this is the Lloyd Cole in New York collected recordings box set. This was expected out last year actually, at the end of 2016, which would have been about a year later than the other box set. But in the end this was delayed and it's out on Friday the 17th of March. So this is obviously a sealed version just to show you what the sticker and the packaging looks like. So here's the box set without the packaging on the outside. And you'll notice as I shine this in the light, some spot varnishing on the uh, images here, which is good. Now the first all important test is, are, are the dimensions of this box the same as the previous one? It's very important for getting it looking good on your shelf. I'm pleased to say that they're identical. In fact, they're the, they're the same thickness as well. So Lloyd Cole in New York is completely consistent with Lloyd Cole and the commotions. And just to recap what you get in this album, you get the first self-titled Lloyd Cole album, uh, the follow-up Don't Get Weird On Me Babe, Bad Vibes from 1993, Love Story, and then Smile If You Want To is the unreleased album that never came out. And then there's a series of 20 demos on CD6. So this is a six CD package. There's no DVD as per the other box set. They've kept fairly much the successful packaging of the previous set. So you do get a very nice hardcover book. I'll just flick through the pages to give you a feel. Quite a lot of text in here as you'll see, but contributions from everyone. Nice photos at the back. And then credits and track listings for all the albums. So it's very similar to the other book. It also comes with a poster. There you go, quite a groovy poster. It's the image from the bottom of the box set. To give you an idea of the size of the poster, I'll drop the box set there. And in similar style to the previous box set, you get this wallet with some postcards in. Lloyd looking very trendy. So let's talk about the albums themselves. So this set starts with uh, the self-titled album. This was issued in 1990. And to give you a bit of comparison, there's the original. And if you look closely, there's a little bit more cropping at the top. So there's slightly less space above uh, Lloyd Cole. In fact, they've repositioned it slightly because if you look on the original CD, the writing um, goes slightly onto Lloyd's forehead, whereas this one doesn't. So it might be they've just replicated the vinyl. And then that's the back with the handwritten. Again, it's a slight variation on the original, because if you look at the back of the original CD, it looked like that. And then these are the usual little wallet things. I'm pretty sure this recreates the vinyl. As, as I say, it might be that this layout here is the original vinyl. I have got the vinyl somewhere, but. And then I quite like how they've made an effort to stick to the original CD design. So this is the new version, which is in the box set. This is the old version from the 1990 CD. So you can see they're virtually identical. It's quite interesting. Still got the Polydor handwritten, hand-drawn logo on it. I remember when this album came out actually, when I first moved to London in 1989, I shared a house in Walthamstow with a girl that worked for London Records. She went to the launch party for this album, which was in Islington at the time. So I remember her coming back extremely drunk with a press pack of this album, which she gave to me. And I've got no idea what happened to her, unfortunately. There's a chance this CD might be from that press pack, I can't really remember, but 
But I do remember thinking how cool it was going to a Lloyd Cole album launch. So that's the first record. Obviously none of these have got any bonus discs on them because that was covered by the previous box set which was cleaning out the ashtrays. Now this is a bit of a favourite of mine, don't get weird on me babe. Now I do have some quite something quite interesting from this album, digging back into the SDE archives. I picked this up, I can't remember when I picked this up, but I picked this up not long after the album came out in a second hand record shop. But th this is a promo edition of the album and if you're familiar with this album, which I'm sure you probably are, there's an orchestral side and a more pop side and it lends itself very well to a two CD edition. So this was a promotional only two CD edition. Now unfortunately the bad news is I've lost one of the CDs somehow. And then the annoying thing is the one I've lost has an alternative cover to the album. So what, this is actually the US version of the, of the album which I've just slotted in to the, uh, to the case to just make it fit. But originally, you'll see here this one. This is the orchestral side. So side one, Butterfly there for her, Margot's Waltz, Half of Everything, Man, and, Man Enough and What He Doesn't Know. So that's pretty cool. And I, as I say, I had the other disc for it somewhere, but I've lost it. So. But that's a slight aside. So this is the new version in the box set. That's the inner sleeve. In fact, this picture here, that one, was the cover to the alternative to part two of the album in the promo disc, I recognize it. So this looks cool. And that's the disc. Great record, by the way, very good. Now this is Bad Vibes from 1993. Again, they've kept to the, this is kind of like a vinyl replica. So just, just for comparison, so there's the, there's the new version. If I move that aside, there's the old version. So definitely a bit more contrast, a bit more clarity in the old version, but I guess you'd expect that. I do like this album, I know a lot of people don't like it that much. And that's the disc for Bad Vibes, which recreates the Fontana logo at the top. Although that's the original Bad Vibes, so it didn't really look anything like that. And Love Story, this goes for the standard UK sleeve, which presumably is the preferred version. That's probably what Lloyd Cole thinks the album should have on the front cover. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this in America, there was a Ryko edition, which had that as the sleeve. Love Story. Now, of course, this, this had the hit on it, like lovers do. Chris Evans kept playing on his breakfast show and Lloyd Cole was rewarded with a hit. And the record company went to town actually. There's the disc by the way. Now the record company went to town and um, they actually released Like Lovers Do as a three part CD single. This is the original one which I've dug out. And um, this opened out like that. So it was a nine track CD release in effect. Those were the days. CDs two and three were really greatest hits to be honest with you. CD one had some, uh, well it still had Forest Fire on it, but it did have a long version of Traffic which was not on the album. And this is the unreleased LP called Smile If You Want To. Now the story is Lloyd wanted to release this at the time and he, there was some management changes at the record company and the new guy wanted Lloyd to put out a greatest hits compilation, which he didn't want to do, so, but he did in the end, and it kind of broke the relationship in Lloyd's words. Uh, most of this has since come out on other things, notably the Negatives album, um, but there's, I think there's one track on here which hasn't come out in, in the same form. So it's not loads of unreleased material, but it is a, a sort of recompiled album as it was supposed to be originally envisaged at the time. So the plain sleeve, groovy disc design which has nothing to do with TDK obviously. And then finally the one element of the box set which really is packed with unreleased material. 
and this is a demos disc so demos 89 to 94 so quite a lot from the first album in fact it's spread fairly much to the lions pay for it weeping wine weird on me which was a b-side i think quite a cool picture of lloyd in full beardage nice design on the outside there some of the inlays for the demos and that's the disc so this is paul from super deluxe edition looking at lloyd cole in new york collected recordings 1988 to 1996